everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Dark Souls. I'm still so happy because we beat Ornstein and Smog last time. Oh, thank the thank the Lord, man. You know, honestly, that might be the hardest fight for me. I'm sure it is for a lot of people, but man, I'm just, oh the relief. You don't even realize. Oh my gosh. So anyway, we're gonna go upstairs now. Um, one thing I want to point out: there is a rather large elevator over here. And a tiny one over here. So that's probably for Ornstein and Smoke. Smoke takes the big one, Ornstein takes the little one. Or the other way around, depending on, you know, who wants to make what bet. And a bonfire. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna level up. Yes, I am. Oops. On decks. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep adding to decks because that's what my weapon is, uses. And luckily I got all my humanity back, which is great. In fact, I'm gonna kindle this right now. Uh, might as well. The, when you kindle bonfires, it carries through into New Game Plus. So you might as well do it. <laughs> it's not a waste of humanity if you do it. Basically. We're going to head over here and get whatever this is. Oh, it's Knight Lautrex gear. Well, good for him. You know what I completely forgot about? The Ring of Favor and Protection. So, we're going to get rid of this. There it is. There it, is. it boosts health, stamina, load, and it breaks when removed. So, once you put it on, you don't want to take it off. And, but it's pretty good. Like, check it out. Uh, first of all, a ring symbolizing the favor and protection of the goddess Fina, known in legend to possess fateful beauty. There's a car alarm going off right outside my window. And also, Fina is known for Skies of Arcadia, where she is uh, a sylvite. So, anyway... This ring boosts its wearer's HP, stamina, and max equipment load, but breaks if ever removed. It doesn't actually tell you how... Yeah, it does. Wow. Gives you 200 health. Like, oh wow. 25-ish stamina. And 20 pounds of equipment load. <laughs> Yeah, I'm putting that on. <laughs> I don't even care. No, I'm, it's staying on forever. Okay, let's see if I can equip stuff now. I took all my stuff off because I was not avoiding things well. Maybe I can wear what I want to wear now. Can I? Nope. Can I take off this? Take off. Yes. Oh wow, I can. Oh, I'm a brigand. Look out, I'm a brigand. I wonder if I can. Oh wow, no. See, the thing is, you get fast rolls if you're like a quarter of your total equipment load. I'm 20.2 out of 81.6, so I'm, I'm right on the edge there. <laughs> I can't really add any more pounds without going into medium rolls. So I'm gonna keep this. Wow. Looking pretty sweet. Looking pretty spiffy there, buddy. Okay, here we go. This is every Dark Souls player's uh, like most shocking moment. You ready for this? Maybe you should close your eyes and I'll tell you when to open them. Ready? Okay, you, know, you can open them. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, that's a big lady. You're a big lady, miss. Very, you're a very large woman. So, uh, was your bed downstairs I saw? Or was this, is this your bed? 
This is probably your book. Oh, chosen undead, I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day Father is formed in Obscurus, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. Oh, we got the Lord Vessel. And we can warp between bonfires. Oh, the greatest moment ever. Unfortunately, we can't choose any of the bonfires. There's select ones we can go to, but still, that is the greatest thing in this entire game. <laughs> For good reason. Okay. Thank you. Guinevere, thank you for that, Lord Vessel. And beseech thee. Succeed, Lord Queen, and inheriteth the fire of our world. Thou shalt endeth this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. Eternal twilight? I don't know if you've looked outside, but it's pretty sunny. And, uh, wait a minute, what? You want me to succeed your father? It's an odd request. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think on this one a little bit. I'm gonna have to think on this. Do I succeed Lord Gwyn or do I not? No, I do. Uh, miss, where's your bathroom? Oh, choose not dead. Thou hast journeyed far. Thank you. So, she has a covenant. The Sunlight Princess Covenant. Um, I forget what they do. I really forget. I think she gives you miracles. Like sunlight miracles and stuff. So, if you're a faith build or whatever, go for it. Since the day Father is formed in Obscurus, I have awaited thee once living. Now undead, and a fitting heir to Father Gwyn thou art. O chosen undead, and beseech thee. Succeed Lord Gwyn, and inheriteth the fire of our world. A grave and arduous test of mental, yea, it shall be. Indeed, we had felt the warmth of fire, its radiance and the life it sustaineth. Without fire, all shall be a frigid and frightful dark. So the fire is dying, and if we succeed Lord Gwyn and link the fire, we can renew the Age of Fire and make sure it lasts a little bit longer. So everybody can be nice and warm and happy and all that. Otherwise it's going to go out and get really dark and scary. Well, seems like a Pretty noble quest, I guess. Please, Father's will thou should assume, and inherit in the fire of our world. Thou shalt end in this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. King Seeker Frant, the primordial serpent, shall guide thee. Why, well, I met him. He's a pretty nice fellow. He's a little uh, stinky, but he's nice. Okay, do you have anything else? Please, thou shalt everything seek of Okay, you don't say anything else. Now thou shalt go forth, chosen undead. May thou be one with the sunlight forevermore. Oh, thank you. So, one thing they're not quite clear on, although she kind of mentioned it, is that if you link the fire and bring the Age of Fire back, or renew it, or whatever you're doing. It's going to end the undead curse, right? So you think... What does that mean? Does that mean all the undead are going to die? Or does that mean... that all the people who are undead are going to be human again? So, yeah, all those people who keep dying over and over, are they just all going to die? Honestly, being undead isn't that bad. Just when you go hollow and crazy and start killing everyone. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's something to think about, though. It's not as black and white as she makes it seem. Anyway. Holy cow. Wow, wow, wow. 
So, at this point in the game, the world opens up massively. Um, now, what we're supposed to do right now is bring the Lord Vessel to King Seeker Framped at Firelink Shrine, and he will uh, let us place it in front of the... Like, there's this door that protects the first flame. We're supposed to place it there and then collect the Lord's souls from the Lord's, whatever, and then uh, use the, those souls to fuel it so we can get in to the first flame. So that's what we're supposed to do. However, um, if we keep the Lord Vessel, there's a special thing that can happen, and I have never seen it, so that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to take a little bit of deviation from what we would normally do at this point. But I'm still going to go to Firelink. Because we have something to do there. Whoops, I can't... What? I can warp there? Even though the fire's out? Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Alright. I'll do it. So yeah, we're not going to talk to Framps. Sorry, Framps. You're, uh, you're a good guy, but you're a little bit... Uh, and a whole Sigmire. Well, how D. Well, fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the gate, the old fortress. Was that your doing? Uh, yeah. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This night of Katerina Thanks you sincerely. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Ooh, emit force miracle. Thank you. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> yeah, sure you are. <laughs> Oops. There you are. I'll be heading. There's no. no <laughs> oh, good old Siegmeier. Man, he has a huge sword. Look at that. When are you gonna swing that thing, man? Uh, where is this guy? He finally got up and moved. Well, good for him. Oh, hello, big hat. And your apprentice, I see. Oh, hello again. I was waiting to tell you. Master Logan has returned, and he tells me that he has you to thank. Well, we are both in your debt now. Thank you, sincerely. He's just over there. Go along and have a chat. <laughs> He's just over there. Like we can't see that huge hat just sitting in the grass. <laughs> oh, hello. Terrific to see us both in one piece. And pray that you never go hollow. Hey, Big Hat. How you doing? Hello there. I was expecting you. As promised, I will share my sorceries. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid that you are unable to learn sorcery. The basic framework, you see, it cannot be taught. Oh, do not fret. Life isn't all about sorcery. You will find your own way. Don't frown with regret. Peer forward with your head high. I could learn sorcery if I really wanted to. Hello there. Glad to see you alive. And you, Big Hat. So yeah, I think you need 12 intelligence. I have 9, so I would have to use 3 levels. Wait, do I have a bunch of experience? Oh no, I already spent it. I would have to use 3 levels to learn sorceries, and eh, I'm not really a big sorcery guy right now, so I'm not going to do that. So yeah. Now, if you want to see all of Big Hat Logan's uh, storyline, you're gonna have to buy all his miracles or not miracles, sorceries, all of them. So it's a pretty expensive quest chain if you want to see his whole storyline play out. He does some pretty goofy stuff though. <clears throat> yeah, as in going nuts. Hey, Loudtrek. I don't know why I want to talk to you, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, hello there. I'm pleased to see you safe. As always, if 
you provide the materials, I can teach you pyromancy. You have anything good, man? Blech, blech, blech. Eh, combustion's pretty good. I might as well. You know, I'll just get a hold of it. I don't have 8,000 souls to get that thing. <laughs> Why? Tell me about No. I see. In any case, apologies. Forget the... I don't want you going crazy on me, man. Goodbye, then. Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go, although. You either. I could buy his last sorcery and... And then say yes to that, just so we could see him go nuts, but... Uh... I like the guy, you know? I just like him. Is that enough? That's enough. Okay, well, let's restore... The, uh, Ash Maiden down here. Hello. Here you go. <gasps> it's a miracle! Ooh, she's alive. Thank you. I am Anastasia of Astora. Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. But I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. Your impure tongue? Oh, how crazy. So when we brought her back to life, she got her tongue back. So apparently somebody cut her tongue off, and that's why she couldn't talk before. But what the heck did she do that she, her tongue needed to be removed? Doesn't seem that bad. Forgive me. I am impure. My tongue never intended for restoration. Please, if you have any heart, leave me be. I wish not to speak. But I want to know your story. Won't you tell me? Tell me your story. Tell me your story, Anastasia. Forgive me. I am in Please, I wish. Hmm. My little song didn't win her over. Oh. Okay. See you later, Anastasia, Anastasia, or whatever. <laughs> However you pronounce your name. Okay, everybody. Now, like I said, we have a lot of places to go. A lot of places to go. There are four different... Um, actually, oh, you know what I just remembered? We actually have to place the Lord Vessel to get to three of those people. So we do have to place it, but in order to do what I'm thinking... We're going to have to go to the forest first. So that's where we're going. Okay. So it's a little bit more linear the way I'm doing it right now, but... Uh, if you did place the Lord Vessel, you would have a little bit more freedom in choosing where you want to go right now. But for us, we're going to the forest. la di da da Shall be a delightful tromp. Because I have a sword made of fire. And plant creatures will not have a fun time. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Let me through! Man, I'm so relieved to be out of Anor Londo. Oh, you know what I just remembered? Man, I want to see, um, I want to see Solaire's Covenant. I want to see that, because I've never talked to him before. Oh my god, the lag. What is going on? Oh, that was a little scary. Huh. Yeah, let's go check out, uh, let's go check out Solaire's Covenant really quick. And then I'll end this part. <laughs> Silently to the vault tonight. Gonna stab him in the rear. 
Then he's dead and falls. And then I'm happy. La dee dee doo da doo. I don't have a kick, but I do have a spinny crazy move. <laughs> that was awesome. I still have my cool spinny move. Hmm. You know, I, I haven't actually tried any of these. Whoa, that was cool. What are you doing? Sweet. I always hear running around when we pass there. Solaire. I thought once we did the Ann Orlando stuff, he was supposed to be here. Man, did I miss him again? I don't know. Maybe after you place the Lord Vessel, he's here. I don't know. Man, I, I just don't know. Hello. Okay, well, I'm going to end it here, guys. That was kind of disappointing. I was hoping he was going to be there. Maybe if I quit? Ooh, ooh, let's try that. Hang on, I'm going to quit and log back in. And we'll see if he's here. Oh my gosh, he is! Ha ha! Yay, it worked! Hi, Solaire. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Hello there. Forgive me. I was just pondering about my poor fortune. I did not find my own son, not in Anor Londo, nor in Twilight Blight Town. Where else might my son be? Lost Isolith? Or the tomb of the Grave Lord? But I cannot give up. I became undead to pursue this. But when I peer at the sun up above, it occurs to me, what if I am seen as a laughingstock, as a blind fool without reason? Well, I suppose they wouldn't be far off. <laughs> Uh-oh. Somebody's losing hope here. Solaire, buddy, chum. Don't worry about it. You'll find your son. Heck, you have one on your chest plate. If you just, like, look down, you'll find it right away. Oh, jeez. I feel bad, because I, I don't know how to help him. I have no idea what he's actually looking for. <laughs> he's a little bit loopy. Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Hmm. He's supposed to have a covenant. Oh, hello there. The s if o oh, you know what? I think you need enough sunlight metals. Yeah. I only have four. I think it might be... You need either ten or fifteen. And then he'll let you join his covenant. Uh, he'll teach you miracles. And actually, the last miracle you get in his covenant is... Uh, one of the attacks of the final boss, so that's pretty cool. But in order to get those sunlight medals, you need to do a lot of co-op, beat bosses in co-op, uh, put your white sign stone, sun, soap, soap stone down in front of boss doors, and then uh, people can summon you and you can help them, and if you kill the boss, you get a sunlight medal. So, uh, yeah, if you do a lot of co-op, you can join this guy's covenant. Anyway, that is that. I have never talked to him there before, so that was pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to end it here. Next time we'll... Oh, wait, we could just warp. Oops. Undead Parish. Exactly where I want to be. B, B. Want to wanna E. Forget the B, we just need the E. Okay, and then down here with Andre is where we can go. Okay, so we're actually going to head down here. 
right across from Andre. Next time, though. So, see you guys then.